Stepping up to the couch, it's Brian, who led the league last season in cracked screens. But with his new athletic case, it looks like that won't be the case. <laughs> Touchdown, Brian! Quick look, the pass goes incomplete for Jared Ruth. A threat they're happy to have back on the field. Handoff goes to Miller, who sneaks through a couple arm tackles and pulls his way down to about the 15-16 yard line. Play clock was down to three on the toss. Miller to the edge, and he's brought down quickly again. Trey Williams, the linebacker from Cardington, Ohio, makes the stop. This one's from 37. And Avila's kick sails wide. No good. Third and six, it's a four-man rush. The throw over the middle is grabbed by Hill. Their top target out to the 40-yard line. First down, Purple Raider. Great blocking for Ruth. Who's to the 30 and then some. Finally tackled by Gibson. Beaufort had to scramble to convert the last third down, and he goes incomplete on back-to-back -back throws toward the sideline. And it's fourth down. Ball comes loose. Amick first to the crowd to get on top of it. Mount Union says they've got it. And the officials have to peel the layers off the pile. Yeah. They're going to talk about this one, but I, I believe that was... Mount Union football. I didn't see a clear recovery by Hammock, the quarterback, trying to jump on the ball. Celebrations were not premature by the Purple Raiders defense. Yeah, first of all, good job. Again, Andrew Resch comes up, just creates a little bit of a, a havoc, the mistake, but just watch the football. It is never recovered by Hammock, showing clear control. The keep a dive and a touchdown for Mount Union as Fulford takes it into the end zone to make it 9-0 Mount Union. For Fresno State. Here comes the pressure up the middle. Hammock goes off his back foot, lobs it downfield. What a catch along the sideline by Miller. Junior. After a loss of a couple, they bring pressure again. Second down, throwing into single coverage to the end zone, a touchdown for T.J. Josie. And just like that, the crew is on the board. When it comes to a punt return for Mount Union. And it's a fake. Their first punt went for just 12. Petroselli takes this direct snap and goes across midfield for a surprise Mount Union first down. <laughs> In six foot, you gotta find the right player. To the perimeter for Hill, a shimmy and a shiver. He's inside the 20. Number one, Justin Hill. You know, guys, you mentioned. Because you think about the movement in the state of Florida in terms of head coaches. A lot of movement on the FBS level. A lot of guys finding new homes. Number two, Josh Petroselli. Petroselli, home at Mount Union. Fulford was looking to throw. Now keeps it. And the crew awaits. Shepard and Jackson, the linebacker, hold him in check. Never lost. <laughs> Drive from 22. Got it. Back in the backfield, said it reminded some people of postseason in 2010 when Shorts went to take those snaps at quarterback after playing with the stands as grandpa. And we see Fulford run again to try and convert on third down. Well, he tried. And the crew swarms. D. Jackson in their chops here on third and 15. Absolutely nothing to speak of in terms of daylight there for Mark Keith Miller. And going to shut out in this game last year. On third and five, Ruth goes up. Long one, 54 on the try. No, turned away. 
UMHB's way down a score, a field goal block. They've got the ball and a chance to take the lead. Put the pressure on Mount Union. They do just that here. Pass complete to the 25. Josie, their leading receiver. Josie takes the pitch, springs up the middle, and he's inside the five yard line. They're putting the pressure on Mount Union. Going unconventional. Testing the defensive line. Touchdown! <laughs> Lead looking to avenge a loss in last year's Stag Bowl. Petroselli over the top. They've got two timeouts as he scampers out of bounds as well. He asking for in these situations. Hopefully, a top intercepted. Pass is intercepted by number two. Jefferson Fritz, <laughs> his college football leading 12th interception of the year. Well, I'll tell you this, there's just one guy who I'm not throwing to. Watch the quarterback's eyes. He's staring the whole thing down. Fritz doesn't have to go far at all. The Hammock on the rollout. Just has to spike it, and here comes fourth down. He's got the wind at his back here. And his second attempt. And it is good. Much more fruitful than the first. Third down, a fastball across the middle. Gets the job done. Justin Hill. Reception. Drive from third and three, third and 13. Now trying to do it and pick up 15 yards. Fulford's run is not enough this time. He's down at the 37. Right back to Miller, who's up the middle and nearly broke away. Trevor Cox got him on the shoelaces. 110 through the air. They give him plenty of protection. He lets it go. It's tipped and incomplete. Intended for Josie. As they trail by four. Late in the third quarter, this is the latest they've trailed in a game this year. Nice ball across the middle. First catch of the day for the senior Luke Harrington. Fulford's got time, tests the middle again, and finds Harrington again with those safeties so deep. Is that the vulnerable part of the field? Here comes pressure. Fulford feels it. And he's swallowed up, taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Flushed out of the pocket, loads up, throws deep to the end zone, incomplete. Harrington the target again. To help his team win. He cracked a rib, he strained an oblique last year on just the third play. Hammock lowers the shoulder with 220 pounds of force. He's been the big play guy, we just showed you. Immediate rush from the Purple Raiders. Hammock on the run to the sideline. What a throw. Sneaking it into a tight window to John L. Reed. So much, even in Florida, wore his hoodie on Saturdays. To the end zone, a blown coverage. It's a touchdown for K.J. Miller. And the championship drive is capped with six for the crew. He's possibly being an MVP, but big drive here. Come on, Union. Harrington finds the middle of the field, and he goes down to the 45-yard. UMHB, that set up first down at the 23. Bowen oh, deep, that pass was nearly intercepted. It ends up with Justin Hill, but Keith Gibson could have had his fifth pick this year. The quarterback to the middle of the field. Incomplete. But you got to get some you points get some here. Points. You can't yeah. come away with nothing on this drive. You make it an eight-point game, it's still within one possession. And the field goal attempt is good. Two Mount Union grad, and it's a fake. On fourth down, the fake comes up a bit short. That's short.
Third down, he finds the middle of the field, and Jared Ruth, who'd been out the last two weeks with an injury. Here, Justin Hill. Under pressure, it's incomplete. And it comes down to one more snap for the Purple Raider. On fourth down, going to the end zone, incomplete. Hammett keeps it, tries for the stiff arm, he goes down back at the 10, and another Purple Raiders timeout coming right here. That's poor play call. That's poor play call in a championship game. And I know Coach Fredenberg has been there a long time, but you got to understand situations, Coach, and I don't get caught up in the moment. Looking away. So Keeney does get a completion. Now they send it backwards, it's Keeney again. Harrington, further backwards. Ball is loose back at the 20-yard line. Just trying to keep things alive here. Petroselli on the far side. Forward pass, game over. The clock has expired. It's an illegal forward pass. The flag is down, and the celebration for the crew begins.